our second biggest breakdown. Your hips and your shoulders are moving together. Okay, you're not able to segment. We want that segmentation because that is our hip shoulder separation, right? So if we don't segment that, we don't we limit ourselves on the ability to create separation and create stretch, right? Like the analogy I always use is the rubber band. Okay, so if you're if you're trying to if you're trying to get a rubber band to go as far as it can, what are you doing? You're pulling it all the way till it's max tension, okay? Max tension, and then you're releasing it off a stable front thumb or whatever it is, right? You're releasing it, boom, it's catapulting and it's going as far as you can. Now, the analogy that I would use with you, given your separation, is there's never a point in which we reach that max capacity because we're not able to segment the hips from the trunk, okay? So you're pulling your stretch about to here and then you're releasing it and it's going very less distance, right? Um, so we wanna segment that. And the way we segment that is we rotate our hips on time, meaning we start our rotation right about now and they start to rotate and then once we land the hips should be right around you know close close to 45 you know but then the trunk should be delayed meaning the trunk should not start its rotation until we really anchor down into front foot strike and then we snap and we release okay you'll see a breakdown on this uh, in the report on Max Scherzer, you know, he's one of the best guys to, to look at in terms of the hip rotation because he just does it absolutely flawlessly. OK, so now what this hap what happens for you is instead of pulling the arm through and really creating that pulling sensation into ball release, you now just complete your trunk rotation. You lead with your elbow and you push the ball into release. You have early launch. Your chest is behind your lead knee. Right. So that is a byproduct, that pushing arm action is just a byproduct, in my opinion, of you starting your trunk rotation early and not creating separation from your hips. So then your arm now leads the way instead of the trunk rotation pulling the arm through, bringing the arm through into release. So I'm gonna program uh, momentum and acceleration progressions hip rotation progressions, and then also I'm gonna, I'm gonna include the, the pushing arm action progressions, but if we optimize the hip rotation progressions and we get that sequencing a lot more efficiently and on time, then the, the arm action is gonna clean up naturally. But I'm gonna include some progressions that you can use for that uh, just, to, just to have it. So 